Okay. I'm Michael Rizzo, CEO of TrueSpot, founder as well. Uh, what is TrueSpot? TrueSpot is basically Africa's leading musical digital service. Uh, we provide um, music streaming through live channels and on-demand services. We also provide professional services for those who are in the industry, like the artists, the managers, the, the content providers and such. And how did the site start? It started about eight years ago. I was in the house. I was trying to look for music and to play. I was in the United States at that point and I was trying to get to in touch with my African songs at the moment and there was no medium to get that. And I had to send people to you know to Africa and tell them please bring me some CDs back when you're coming back. And when they come back I, or when they came back I'll actually take the CDs and make podcasts out of them. So I started Trispa that way as a podcast system to just let my friends know about what was going on in Africa. And through the years, grew into an internet station and before we knew it, it became an on-demand service. So we kept on going through that route. And you're relaunching the site, aren't you? We decided to take a break at the end of 2013 to focus on legalizing a lot of things that were wrong with TrueSpot at the moment, um, with some content that we had to clear up. And we brand as an original content service, as well as make things more clear to artists what we wanted to do for them. So we spent six months doing that, and rebuilding, rebranding, restructuring, um, new managers, new team, new office, new headquarters. And we are here. We are about to launch in a few weeks. And you've got a radio station. Yes. We do have a radio station as well. TrueSport is going to have TrueSport FM as well as visuals in a few months, which will be TrueSport is divided into two now. So it's no more just TrueSport. It's going to be TrueSport FM and TrueSport TV. So the FM is focused on the audio. People are going to be able to listen to it wherever they are in the world with mobile apps, um, Roku with some boxes, with some satellites. We're going to have it on the, cha on the channel. So we want to be able to be accessible to people via um, these mediums wherever they are. And they'll be able to listen via, um, just listen via whatever they have. Um, so that's what we're trying to do, as well as the TV. The TV is going to focus on visuals as well, which we want to see if we work into syndication and working with other companies or a satellite network to, to broadcast, a cable network to broadcast through. As you, you got probably one of Africa's first top 40 shows on the radio station, how, how are you deciding what goes, goes on to the top 40? Okay, the new show, Africa Top 40, is basically um, around a billboard chart system like thing that we're building right now and what we're doing is we're working with algorithms from different stations listening to what they're playing as well and we're calculating through those things we have some music scientists who know how to do that so if there's a top 10 in south africa we see it in um, namibia we see it in nigeria we see it in ghana we see it in tanzania Whatever similarities they have, we're able to put in the um, positions where they are supposed to be. But also, we're going to give the last word to the users to also choose and vote which one do they think out of this pool of songs now that is the number one. Because I believe it should be powered by the users. Whatever they talk about the most or what they want to listen to the most should be what should be on the top 40, not what we choose to be on it. So that's how we plan to do that. So it's going to be user powered as well as a voting system for that. And What's the business model going to be for the, for the site? Right now, a lot of people have said Trispa should be charging subscriptions. We're expecting Trispa to bring subscriptions in the in next nearest future. Um, unfortunately, I've said it last year as well. Um, we plan to stay freemium for a while. Um, the business model still remains advertising, as well as we are working with B2Bs. Um, we are partnering with a lot of companies right now. So a lot of the income or revenue we're going to generate will be through partnerships and advertising as well. Um, freemiums are what we're dealing with the fans. And when we provide services to professionals in the industry, we will charge them for services like that, um, distribution of tracks, or sending them to iTunes and um, Spotify or the Deezers and all that we charge for those services and um, we help them manage their careers, their digital um, media profiles and such. So when we charge businesses for that, we're able to keep up with um, making sure that music is free for the fans. And tell me how many views you had before you shut down and how many you've got now. Okay, we, um, before, as TrueSpot then, we had about eight, 8 million people use the website and use the system. Um, we've had about a hundred to four hundred thousand people monthly 
and we were going towards the 1 million mark but we wanted to take a pause to fix a lot of things for the users so that this relaunch coming up soon will be something different so if we hit the 1 million mark we know we're on safe grounds and everything is legal so um, we decided to do that